Hello! So I'm very excited to be able to spend some time with you today talking about love. It is February. There's a very big focus on that. And I want to share with you a simple exercise that I personally do that I find very helpful when it comes to myself feeling loved, hopeful, supported, and ultimately worthy of creating more in my life and receiving as much as I possibly can. I'm Robin Lee. I'm a medical intuitive in Southern California. I've been in practice for 32 years and I'm so blessed to be able to help people understand how their mind, how their thoughts that they focus on, how the foods that they eat and their entire lifestyle, the choices that they make are affecting their overall health and wellness. As we change different things and add positive dynamics in and pay attention and become more mindful, as we allow ourselves to make some simple dietary choices, it's really quite amazing how physically and emotionally different we can feel. But that being said, I wanted to talk to you about this one simple practice that I have focusing on self-love connection. Sometimes February can create depression for people that don't have a plus one, that don't celebrate the holiday that's being constantly advertised everywhere. And for all of us, this is an awesome video moving forward. So you've heard it, I'm sure, over and again that you can create the love that you give to yourself. It's not like love randomly shows up on the outside, but our life is a reflection of oftentimes how we are with ourselves. So that's why for me, every single night that I go to sleep, when I'm laying down, I allow myself to focus on a positive aspect of myself every single day. Uh, this particular year so far, what I've been doing is focusing on one positive choice that I made throughout the day. And I tell myself how proud I am of myself. It's very interesting because it's such a simple thing to do, but it's actually the practice of it at first, for me at least, was quite difficult. And it was quite difficult because there's such a assumption of focusing positive on ourselves in a negative way as if it's, you know, a, a void or if it's ego or if it's kind of a self infatuation kind of focus. And in truth, it's called self acknowledgement. Self-acknowledgement is beautiful because when we give ourselves the focus of self-acknowledgement, we're not so desperately seeking it from others on the outside, which allows us in the long run to become more authentic, to pay attention to what we want for ourselves instead of giving um, ourselves away, if you will, giving um, ourselves up, selling ourselves out, not having boundaries when we need them, not saying no when we don't want to do something, not saying yes to ourselves when we want to say something, because we're trying to create the acknowledgement of, of ourselves through another person's lens. So for me, one of the best things that I know to do for myself, and I share this with all of my clients, is creating a focus of awareness at nighttime before I go to bed, allowing myself to think about the day. The tendency is to worry about the things that I didn't do. Uh, the focus oftentimes by default is focusing on the things maybe I did wrong. And I have learned to stand my ground for myself and have my own back. Be kind to yourself. And that's the thing is self-healing and self-kindness go hand in hand. Be kind to yourself. Know that you are doing the best you possibly can do and be gentle with yourself. We didn't learn these things oftentimes in our younger years. So here we are at 30, 40, 50, 20, 70, wherever you are in your life, life focus. I just want you to know that you can change your patterns and habits anytime that you want. And there is something really important about focusing on giving ourselves acknowledgement. So at the end of the day, before you close your eyes to go to bed, perhaps you can sit up, write it out even in a journal if you want, or even just take the conscious time to think about it. The first thing I would invite you to do is set a reminder though, because it's a new habit. When we have new habits, we typically do not naturally default to remembering to do those new habits, especially when they're positive habits. Our brains will say things like, oh, you don't need to do that. You're fine. Oh, that's so silly. Oh, that's a, don't worry about it. Or the brain will say, don't worry about it. You don't need a reminder. You're going to remember. This is a secret. Trust that your mind on some level is trying to keep you where you're at because that's where you've been comfortable for a long time even though all of us know we're not actually really comfortable there, but it's comfortable because it's familiar. 
when you do a new habit and you practice a new habit, there is going to be discomfort and there is going to be this mental kind of sabotage that tries to occur. So take some big deep breaths, ask yourself how you can find some type of focus, some type of awareness, some type of reminder at the end of the day to focus on one positive choice you made throughout the day. And you celebrate that. You give yourself a hug. You tell yourself how proud you are of yourself because that one positive choice could have not been what you did and could have sabotaged your entire process. So my positive for last night was stopping and resetting throughout the day. So for me, I'm following a protocol that I'm on for a higher level of health and wellness. And I didn't follow it for one of my meals. So my natural tendency is to say, ah, oh, screw it, the rest of the day, you're fine, just start again tomorrow. And instead I said, no, actually, I didn't mess anything up. I made choices that I wanted to make in the moment. And that's fine, it's not the end of the world. But from now moving forward today, I will make choices based on my own personal protocol that I, I made for myself. And that was a big win for me. So that was my positive at the end of the day, it was allowing myself to remind myself what a great choice I actually did make by stopping and resetting in that day instead of waiting for the next day. Because I don't know about all of you, but how many times do we wait till tomorrow? And how many times does tomorrow not come? So I just wanted to spend this beautiful Wednesday with each and every one of you to remind you of one of the most powerful tools I have learned around creating self-worth, which is acknowledging for myself positive things at the end of the day. It's a really important habit. It's an important habit to do with ourselves. It's an important habit to do with other people in our lives, especially in our family unit. It's so often, it's just easier to look at the negative by default. So making a conscious effort to focus on the positive, dynamic shifts will happen if you're consistent with this habit. You deserve it. You deserve to feel better. You are awesome. You are wonderful and you are worthy. Enjoy focusing on the positive within yourself. You are a blessing to this world and it's a beautiful day we get to live today.